In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wirelessly tether to your iPad from your Nikon camera. All right guys, so if you saw my previous video, you saw how I showed you guys how to wirelessly tether to your iPad from your Sony camera. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that from a Nikon camera. So thank you very much for those of you who have been very patient with me on the creation of this video. We're gonna be using Nikon SnapBridge. That is the application on the iPad that we're gonna be using to wirelessly tether from your camera to your iPad. So I've been hearing from a lot of people, especially in some Facebook groups that have been saying that Nikon SnapBridge tends to crash or give them errors or glitch out. I don't know, I was shooting Nikon for about five years and I never really had an issue or any glitching with Nikon SnapBridge and my mirrorless cameras and my DSLRs. So let's give it a shot, but if it does give you any errors or if you experience any glitches, Feel free to join the conversation in the comments. Let me know what you're experiencing and maybe I can try my best to help you guys out. So if you don't have Nikon SnapBridge downloaded to your iPad, go and do that right now. Very simple, go to the App Store, look for Nikon SnapBridge, download it, make sure it's updated, and then once it's ready to go, we're gonna go on to the next step. This is my Nikon D850, and in today's video, I'm gonna be using this camera here because it is a DSLR and not a mirrorless body. I wanna show you guys that Nikon SnapBridge will not error out or glitch out even with using an old DSLR like this one or a 750 or any previous models. There's a two-step process when it comes to connecting your camera to the iPad. What's gonna happen is the software is going to automatically try to connect to your camera by using the preset settings already built into the software. Once it establishes that connection, then in order for you to tether wirelessly, it's going to ask you to connect via Wi-Fi. So let's start off with step one, connecting your camera to the iPad via its preset settings. You're gonna open up Nikon SnapBridge on your iPad and you're gonna see a screen that's almost grayed out. In the center of that screen, you're gonna see the words connect to camera. You're gonna select that option. Once you select connect to camera, you're gonna see a list of different camera models and versions, both mirrorless and DSLR on that screen. Search for your camera model and you're gonna select that option. Once you select that option, it's going to give you instructions on how to sync your camera to Nikon SnapBridge. But don't worry, that's what you have me for, right? Now that you have the instructions open, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up the camera, hit menu, and then you're gonna look for setup. Once you're in setup, you're going to then find the words connect to smart device. Select that option, and it's going to automatically sync your camera to the iPad. On the iPad screen, you're going to see a new window that's gonna show pair with camera. And you should see your camera listed. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna select the camera on that list and follow the instructions on the screen. After that, it's going to try to establish that connection, so just give it a brief moment. There might be a pop-up that says select accessory and your camera's gonna be listed there one more time. You're gonna select that camera and it might show you a code, which then you're gonna pair with your camera. You're gonna select okay on the screen of your camera and then it's going to try to connect it. You're going to see your camera being displayed on the screen of that iPad with the options to download pictures, auto link, or even shoot remotely. All right, so you successfully connected your camera to the iPad with the preset settings in the app Nikon SnapBridge. Now we're gonna go ahead with step two, where you connect your camera via Wi-Fi in order to download pictures and wirelessly tether to the iPad via your camera. Now, you're going to see the button that says download pictures. Select that option. Once you do, it's going to try to establish a Wi-Fi connection to your camera, so feel free to go ahead and do that. Once you successfully connected and established that Wi-Fi connection, it's going to automatically open up the recent pictures you've taken on your camera. If you don't see anything on the screen, that's because your memory card is either empty or you have no pictures for the iPad to display. So that's where we test this out. And just like I did in my Sony video, we're gonna take a picture of you guys. So get ready here. And a portrait. Now that we've taken the two test shots, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Select download pictures. It's going to open up another screen and display to you the two pictures that you just tested out. What do you guys think? That was instantaneous and wireless. During your photo shoot, once you're displaying these pictures to your client, you can easily go back to shooting. You just hit the X on the top left and it's gonna go right back to that screen where it displays your camera. So I wanna point a few things out. First and foremost, do not turn off the camera. If you turn off the camera, you're gonna have to retry these steps. You're gonna have to establish that connection one more time. Another thing I want to point out is try to keep that iPad close to the camera. Don't go too far with it because the closer it is, 
the faster those files can upload and the faster you can review images with your client. So what happens if your camera is not listed on that list or if it gives you trouble connecting via the preset that's already established in that software? You can always connect your camera to your iPad using Wi-Fi. That's really simple too. So if you've gotten this far and you can't connect it and you wanna use the Wi-Fi option, let's go over those steps together. On your camera, what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to the menu option and then you're gonna to go to setup. Go down that list until you find the Wi-Fi option. Select Wi-Fi. Then you're gonna select establish Wi-Fi connection. That's going to populate a new screen behind your camera and it's gonna show you your Wi-Fi settings. Go into your iPad, go into the general settings, then select Wi-Fi and find that network and connect to it. Once your iPad successfully connects to that Wi-Fi connection, then you're gonna open up Nikon SnapBridge. Once you open up Nikon SnapBridge, on the top right section of that app, there's going to be a gear icon. That's your settings icon. Select that option. On the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see something that says Wi-Fi mode. Select that option. It's going to ask you if you want to connect your camera via your Wi-Fi settings. You select the option Wi-Fi connection and it's practically going to give you the same instructions that I've just given you. You select next, then you select open settings, disregard that and go right back into Nikon SnapBridge. Once you go back into Nikon SnapBridge, it's going to try to establish that connection with your camera. Since you're already connected to the Wi-Fi connection that your camera created, it's automatically going to connect. Just give it a few seconds. Once it does that, again, your connection is established and you're ready to start taking pictures. Perform that test shot one more time, take a picture of something, and then click download pictures and you're gonna see that the pictures instantaneously pop up in that screen. And that's it. That's how you connect your Nikon to your iPad wirelessly. I hope this video helped you guys out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.